Um, this is Kibbutz Keturah. It's really an incredible uh, kibbutz. It's founded by uh, young Judeans. And I was in the Angel Day Youth Movement, and I was a volunteer here 25 years ago. So my wife and I decided to have a couple quiet years with our five children. Uh, Keturah really fit the bill. We, got, we drove into the main uh, place uh, on August 24, 2006. The sun was setting. We opened the air-conditioned van doors, and <laughs> it was like the express train in August blasting by, you know, in New York City. Like, what did we just do? We just left our, you know, big house, three cars, nanny, comfortable existence in the suburb of uh, Boston. Um, and uh, couldn't really sleep that night, went outside, the sun was coming up over these beautiful mountains, Haret Edom, Jordanian Mountains, burning my skin, and I just said to myself, wow, the whole place must be working with solar power, because it's such an obvious thing. Um, and I found out on the first day that there was no solar power, Kibbutz Keturah, which is a progressive, environmentally conscious kibbutz. But I said, well, there must be solar power, at least in the region. Second day, no, there's no solar power in the region. It's like, well, I know Israel is like a world leader in solar technology. They must have solar power. And I found on the third day that when we came here, there's no solar power in the entire state of Israel. And I said to my wife, that's ridiculous. So um, I went to go see uh, Ed Hoffland from the Kibbutz Keturah. We made a partnership. David Rosenblatt, a fellow young Jordan businessman from America, joined. And uh, the rest is history. Yachad, <laughs> <laughs>